Hey guys, Drew here again. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Just had that uh, pumpkin ale. All right, so I learned my lesson. Don't age pumpkin ale, but you you, you never know if you don't try things. And it, it was okay. Seven nine, it dropped. Now I'm gonna, and you guys see it. It's a triple triple hot cashmere IPA. Uh, Duvel. And the last Duvel I did was uh, way back then, about three months ago. I bought this at the same time. And I want to do this a week later. And, well, it's about four months later. But I got to get to these beers. I got to get to these beers because they're starting to be that way. Anyways, uh, Belgium IPA. Uh, it says it's still good till July this year. 330 mil. I'm looking on. Don't give me this. I'm looking on LCBO, and I, I guess I spent $4.75 on this. 330 mil bottle. Wow. When I could get IPA number 15, which is AKA 5, for 4 95 for 473 mil. They're saying this is quite expensive. This is really expensive. It's 9.5% alcohol. <clears throat> for Devel Triple Hops, Cashmere Hops, Joins the Saz and Styrian Gold Dig varieties of, uh, to give a boost of tropical and floral flavors. It pours a glorious pale gold with a creamy head. I'll get to that in one minute. Um, and delivers flavors of citrus, peach, melon, and coconut. Served with a, a character platter or a favorite seafood dish. The last duvel I had opened up nice. Once I started pouring, it was nothing but head. So I actually had to sort of let the head die down. I drank the rest of the bottle. Hoping not the same. I know it's an IPA. This is an IPA. But I'm not going to get my IPA out for this. This is Belgian beer. We're going with the Chai May glass. Why? Because I want to. I want to open up. And I want to get some air in there. Um, on untapped. I forget what I said. So I'm just going to go on untapped. And you can just wait for a moment while I do this. Uh, on untapped, it's 50 IBU, 3.79 out of 5 with 722 ratings. Not bad, not bad, so that means there's some taste to it, but is it worth $4.75? I don't know. I, I like the other Devel. I like it. I like the taste of that. I'm going to get out my, uh, I found my uh, bottle opener where I had to go chase down the other day. And I want to get into it. I want to see what's going on. Now I noticed, there, oh, it's already a little bit of head there. This is what the cap looks like, guys. It's a Belgium beer, Devel Triple Hot. That is pretty cool. Now, I'm hoping not too much head comes from this, but we'll see. I'm going to pour it nice. A golden hue. Looks good. Looks good. Get all those stringies and this and that. Let's just mix this all together. There you go. Now, it's not crackle pop. And if you could hear that, I'm not a big fan of this. Not a big fan of the snap crackle pop. I like some lacing in the head, but. All right, so it has that Belgium smell. A little bit of peach, a little bit of um, mango, but not much happening to it. This is a Belgian beer. And, that, and that's the thing. When I had the one the other day, it was. Uh, I forget where, where it was from again. But anyways, that was damn good. But from these beers that come from that side, I find that uh, they have a weird smell, sometimes a taste to it. It is a little see-through, but I poured it in a... Yeah, actually it has a little haze, so good for them. You know what? Let's get into this. 9.5, so this is going to be a slow sipper. I may do one more video, but it, it might be later on tonight. Um... Let's let's get in. Let's get into develop. All right. It's definitely an IPA. Uh, an IPA. Uh, fifty IBU. I get about forty, maybe. I don't get the fifty unless you're not really supposed to age it. But I never aged it because this is still good till July of this year, which is in our six months. Um. Little bit of mango, little bit, little bit of grapefruit, mango, peach. Uh, I'm getting like stone fruits in here. Not bad, not bad. I'm, 
damn good. They, they did a good job. Now, is it worth 475 for this? No. This is not a juicy IPA. This is just your normal IPA. It's 9.5, though, guys. This is not worth 475 But I had to get it back then. I got it like four months ago to do a review, like, right then. And now I'm doing it now. Because I want to get it out of the fridge. And then I'll take these bottles back, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's better than 7 1. It's not in the 8 at all. So, I mean, cashmere hot. Extra strong beer. Uh, like I said, I tried something. I tried something different, which I do for you guys. But I bought both the bows. And, and you know what? There might be a day. And two months from now where I just have five bucks and I see this and I'll just throw it in the fridge again. And then four months later, right? So nine months from now, I'm having one more, right? So I would buy this again, just not continuously like the IPA 15, IPA 14s, you know, my uh, surround sounds. Those are all in eights. Those are what I want to bring in. Yeah, it's not bad. See, it says right there when it's good till. Um, it is a little hazy. I dumped everything in it. There's no chunks in it right now. Maybe the odd small little bit of, you know, hops or whatever that the chunks are. But that's why I put it in this big glass. Um, it's 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven. Seven, seven. And it's not even as good as the, the pumpkin ale that I aged for four months. That actually tastes better than this. This is still drinkable, and this is not going to be a 4-8 where I toss it halfway through. 7-7, seven, seven, guys. But try something different. If you have a couple bucks in it, you want not a juicy IPA, but a strong <laughs> IPA with 9.5% alcohol, give it a shot. Devel. Triple. Triple hot cashmere. Ha you know, it's good. I'll be back with one more later on, probably after dinner. And uh, I'm going to slow sip this guy and enjoy it. 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've had any of these types. Comment down below. I'll be back later. Cheers.